Oh, I would definitely be a dishwasher. <laughs> I just stand in my kitchen and dirty dishes and then I wash them. So the dishwasher is what I am. I would be a blender. I like to blend things. So actually, it should be something that I never use because I'm lazy. And I would want to like be in the back of the cabinet <laughs> and sleep all day. What's something that eat? I would be a garbage disposal. Yeah. That's what I would be. I would eat everything and I would make the most noise while doing yeah. so. We're doing a, a signature item here at uh, So Much called uh, Shrimp and Grits, and it's an example of what I call um, uh, redneck fusion, which is taking my heritage of uh, southern cooking, and I took it out to San Francisco and um, learned a lot about Asian cooking, and this is a combination of those two things. Well, let's, let's get started. Okay. All right, first we've got some black tiger shrimp. Go ahead and sprinkle some cornstarch on top of it. It's called velveting. It's just a little bit of vegetable oil and butter. And then in the back here, simultaneously, I've got a little bit of bacon fat that we rendered, and I'm just going to take a little bit of spinach. While that's simmering there, I'll show you what we're going to top it with when we come over here. Local tomatoes that are chopped up with a little bit of garlic, basil, and carrot. Over here we've got some bacon, and then we've got Parmesan cheese. And over here is the Asian part of it. It's a sweet chili sauce, and it's made with three kinds of chili sauce and pancake syrup. So it gives a little bit of sweetness and a lot of heat. I see some really cool pictures out there. You're a skateboarder, you're a surfer. Right. So that's what? why I originally went out to California before, but I, I couldn't make a living at that, so I had to cook. So what made you come back? This is where I was born. When I come to work every day, I get to see people that I may have played Little League Baseball with and knew my grandfather, and so I come from a few generations, and it's kind of nice. I just don't have customers. I have really close friends that I get to feed every day. So I'm going to take some of the grits. We're going to take uh, We're going to cover it in the spinach. Go ahead and take that chili sauce right there and just throw it right in there. That's going to coat it and give it a really nice flavor. Okay. Then, one, two, three. Just go right on top. It's called the Southern Pile. We're getting crazy. And that's it. That's it. That's shrimp and grits, Soma style. Perfect. Redneck Ooh. fusion style. Ooh. Yeah, there's bacon fat in there, there's bacon, there's uh, Parmesan cheese, there's two local tomatoes, thank mm. you very much. Grits and the shrimp are fried, but with cornstarch. Oh, so yum. You get to have some yum. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's delicious. Oh. This is the Village of the Arts. It's an, it's an old uh, old neighborhood in Bradenton. About 15 years ago, they decided to zone it for art galleries and shops, and I'm the first full-service restaurant. This was an old house. This place is eclectic. You, uh, nothing really matches. I keep pictures of uh, my family and of my travels to Sicily. Is that your background? Is that where your family's from, mm -hmm. Sicily? Yes, my father was born in Sicily, and my mother's from Abruzzo. That's actually a picture of my, uh, me sitting on my father's lap. People come in here and say they feel like they're sitting in my grandmother's house, or they say thank you for inviting me into your home. It's so beautiful in here. It's so well, thank personal. Thank you. It is personal. And it's inviting and warm. Mm -hmm. But you know what we need to see? What do we need to see? The kitchen. Let's go in the kitchen. We are now going to plate our appetizer sample. I, can't I, I love to serve this because this gives you an idea of what Sicilian food really is. Sicilian food is in all eggplant parmesan. It is in all pasta, it There's is in all more. tomatoes. There's, There's so much more. Early this morning I prepared this, torta di carciofi. Oh, yum. It's an artichoke tart, I and this pepper, this pepper. pepperoni uh, ripieno. This is stuffed with golden raisins, pine nuts, oh. tomatoes, yum. currants. Here is the roasted fennel, finocchio arrostito. This stuff I love, because most people use fennel raw, and this is just like freaking awesome. Get everything, don't miss, don't miss anything. All right, get all the parts. I love it. Everything is just melting in my mouth. You know, you really stuck with us. I'm Yum. sure as soon as you stuck with us. I love that. Yeah. We're going to make a uh, golf super pasta. Well, it's one of our signature dishes. It's very popular? Yes. Yeah. It's our, one of our most uh, you know, dishes. Right. Yeah. I'm excited. Let's get started. All right. Extra virgin olive, olive oil. Okay. We have some uh, Prince Edward Island mussels. They're big and they're uh, got a great taste. Yeah. 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 
Now oh, you can go ahead and put them in right now. Hey! Bye bye, babies! Oh. We got this uh, baby scallops okay. and uh, baby shrimp. Alright! Then we're gonna add some aliobio for seafood seasoning. This is, uh, you know, made in the house. Okay, nice. And then we're gonna add some uh, little lemon juice and a little bit of garlic, minced garlic. We're gonna add some, a little bit of wine. And then we're gonna go ahead and add some, uh, yeah, oh, go ahead. Sorry, <laughs> and then we're gonna add some marinara sauce. This is our homemade uh, marinara sauce. Homemade marinara We make everything in the house here. We don't have anything uh, pre-made. And we just let it cook for about, you know, a couple minutes. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and add the pasta to this. Is it a slow cooking sauce? Yeah, simmering yeah. Simmering it for hours? Yeah, we simmer it for a couple hours. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. This has got so many layers going on. Yeah. So there's going to be a crazy lot of different flavors. Yeah. We use these big bowls for the pasta. And then we get another pasta. Ooh. That's a feast. Yeah. This is, is a... Do I have to, do I have to show this with the other girl? Yeah. Yum. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh. It's got some Prince Edward Island mussels, which you know, of course, are the best. Um, the bay scallops, shrimp, perk, the basil. Yes. So the ocean is inside of here. Yes. Cold and sweet, warm and savory. I get into big, long conversations about local and sustainable because I've been doing it for years in this market, and now, just now, kind of with the, the number one, you know, being the number one food trend in Florida or in the world, in the country, it's the best trend I could have because now it just makes it easy for me. This grouper, black grouper, I only buy black grouper. I buy all my fish locally. Uh, we cut all of our fish on a, about a 45 degree angle so that it lays flat on the plate so it doesn't have real. You know, it, it's kind of natural looking. Okay. We'll turn the pan on. And I put a little olive oil in the pan. We'll get that hot. It'll go into buttermilk. We'll dredge it, Dredging. flour it, dredge it. Beautiful. Probably the most important thing is make sure your oil is real hot. If your oil is not hot, it won't float in the pan. You just lay it in a cold pan. It'll stick to the bottom. See, it's, it's not sticking. It would stick already if the pan wasn't hot enough. All right, that's how we cook all of our fish here. Nice. The, re the reason why all we're doing is we're sealing it, we're sealing the, the, the fat you know, into the fish and then when it goes in the oven, it just cooks all the way through. It's, nice, it's a much gentler way to cook. Over the past six years, we've always served risotto. We've kind of perfected it. We cook it three quarters of the way during the day. Chicken stock, white wine, you know, a little onion. In the risotto goes more chicken stock, a little butter, and then corn. A little salt, a little pepper. All right, you ready? You can do a try with two hands. Okay. Oh, you're, it's, no, no, be careful. Mom, I'm come on, kidding. a little more. Ah! Oh, so you did it. Nice job. And then yeah. the most important part is the Asiago, yeah. not Parmesan in mine, because it's, milk, it's milkier. Now the smell really, that's risotto, right? Oh, oh my goodness. Almost runny. Oh, you made like a loaded up. Right? Nice piece of grouper. Right over the top, blue crab, a little fresh hollandaise, local egg, local butter, and there you go. Yum! Yeah, baby, I want to wake up, I want to wake up.